welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to America's premier muscle car showroom, Hankster's Hot Rods, where we own and house anywhere from 65 to 80 vehicles at any given time. If you are watching the vehicle we are about to present to you today on any other advertisement other than Hankster's uh, website, which is hanksters.com, please be sure to visit our website so you can determine whether th this is in fact a current vehicle that we have for sale. If you are watching this on YouTube, uh, on ClassicCars.com, on Hemmings, uh, this vehicle may no longer be uh, available for sale. We own all of our cars, so you're dealing directly with the seller. There are no third parties involved. We are not a consignment dealership. We welcome all of you to visit Hangster's Hot Rods to look at the vehicle you might be purchasing. We encourage all of our buyers to come in person. Uh, Daytona Beach is a, a great tourist destination. There's a lot to do here. Uh, it's, it's a fun two, three day trip, maybe even a week long trip. Uh, come check out your, our cars for yourself. Uh, check out underneath. We'll take it on a test drive. Have some fun. Hangsters.com. And uh, if you want to reach us by phone, it's 386-944-9219. Enjoy today's presentation. Okay, this is the uh, very impressive original engine bay of a 1988 uh, Chevy Suburban. Um, very unique piece of equipment. A really great people hauler. And when I say original, this thing is original. Nobody spray canned anything, nothing's been touched. Uh, original overflow bottle, original washer bottle on it. Uh, the engine is completely original. A real 42,000 mile vehicle. Um, fuel injected 350, uh, power steering, power brakes, um, air conditioning. All the lines are still original and still just as clean and fresh as the day they were uh, put in here by General Motors. Uh, all the aluminum is nice and fresh and clean. Radiator core support is all original paint. None of the bolts have been ever turned. You can see there's never been any wrenches on anything. Uh, new battery. It does have a shut off, however, on it, you know, which is a good uh, item we're going to start putting on all the vehicles that we get from this point on, uh, just as a safety measure. And the fact that uh, if you have this car in storage for a while, you don't have to worry about the battery being drawn dead. So. The original jack still in its uh, position where it belongs. Um, everything is, uh, the jacking instructions of course, still affixed to the uh, driver's side uh, inner fender panel. Um, there isn't anything in this engine that appears to have ever been touched from when it was new, other than of course new battery installation. That's pretty much it. Um, the uh, uh, 5.7 designated sticker is on the front. Again, the jack instruction sticker is there, original uh, uh, fan, original uh, fan uh, shroud, original radiator, high flow, of course, you know, for the uh, air conditioning. Just a phenomenal engine compartment. We're going to go around the rest of it and show you what we can on it. Hi, you're at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida, and today we got a really unique piece of equipment for you. It's a 1988 Chevy Suburban, and this guy is original, and I mean original. Still has the uh, oil oil. The uh, orange peel textured paint on it from the factory. Nothing has been repainted that we can detect anyway. There's no stone chips on it. There's no marks on it. The fitment is absolutely spot on, just the way it was when it was new, clean up around the cowl area. The uh, grill, there's no marks, no marks whatsoever on the uh, surround or the plastic grill. There's no chips or marks or anything from stones coming up and hitting it through the years. Bumper alignment is absolutely flawless. The chrome on the bumper, there's no deterioration whatsoever, no scuffs, no marks. It appears to be as it was when it was new. It has a front spoiler installed underneath it. Of course, you get a hangster's plate in the front of it also with the purchase of the car. Um, going down the side of it, the, um, uh, the side, and I have to mention, this is vinyl. This thing looked like a big gold brick when we got it. So what we did is we put vinyl on the side uh, in, in a cream color to try to break it up a little bit, give it a little bit more of a sporty flair. If the purchaser doesn't like it, it can always be removed. It is just a vinyl very well and professionally installed. Fender lip moldings, of course, on both sides here. Trim going down the sides, your side marker light. There's no deterioration whatsoever on this thing. Uh, aluminum wheels, alloy wheels with this guy. It is a two-wheel drive. Uh, the, look at the gaps on this. This is just undisrupted from when it was new. There's absolutely no paintwork that we can detect on this vehicle. The uh, windshield is a, um, a tinted glass windshield. The uh, pad across the top of the dash 
where it transitions to the base of the windshield, absolutely flawless. There's no curvatures, there's no cracks, no uh, distortion whatsoever. The VIN plate number is just as crystal clear and nice as can be. Aftermarket uh, blades, correct arms that came with this guy. Uh, it's a Scottsdale edition. And the uh, mirrors are swing out, uh, mirrors for towing things. And this vehicle will tow just about anything that you want. This is all original. No one has done anything to replace anything on this. Uh, drip rail molding is still all just a nice and fresh. And again, there's a zillion gaps here, and I can't go over each one of them for you, but look at the, uh, the gaps on this vehicle and the fitment of the door. The front door, the rear door, uh, the door handles have absolutely no deterioration, no patina on the chrome. Inside the doors is the same way. You've got molded panels on the inside. Uh, and this is a, a, is this Scottsdale or Scotch Guard? I can't remember. Scottsdale. It's a Scottsdale edition. Um, basic vehicle. It has a nice cloth interior in it. There's no uh, deterioration on the seats whatsoever. It has the tar paper floors in it, which are easy to take care of and clean and sweep out if you have to. Um, Armstrong windows, crank windows on it. Uh, it's pretty basic. Uh, you know, the Scottsdale edition did not have all the uh, amenities that the uh, uh, Silverado did. But the condition of this thing is just totally amazing. Look, even the original sticker inside the door jam, and there's no deterioration at all anywhere inside the front of the jam where your spring uh, for the uh, uh, door closure is and your hinges, just as nice as can be. Look at the original aluminum door sills. I mean, absolutely flawless. It can't get any nicer. Back's going to be the same way. And again, you can see the uh, gaps on the, on the rear door the same way. By the way, the side glass is also tinted in this vehicle. And it appears to have a little darker uh, tint in the uh, rear windows and the, uh, the backlight here. The, the, the wheels really give this thing a nice dramatic look to it. It's just a, a beautiful set of aluminum wheels on here that were an option in 1988. There's not even any chips here that you can feel or even see from rocks being thrown up through the years. This thing is exemplary condition. I mean, absolute exemplary condition. There's a little tiny scratch here. There is a, a mark there. Obviously, you're not going to repaint it for this. You can hardly see it, but I'm telling you, there is a little scratch here. I can see it, and I can feel it. Going around the back, uh, again, look at, the, uh, look at the gap on these doors. Uh, and this is another great feature on this, too. Instead of having the flip-up uh, glass in the back and then the, the flop-down part, you got barn doors on this one. This thing really has a nice set of barn doors on it that you can open up. A huge cargo area. I mean, absolutely gigantic cargo area in this guy. And you can see that this thing's never had any usage. It's just all the way it was when it was new. I mean, you can't get any better than that. I know this thing opens up. I can't figure out how, though. Okay, look at this. I mean, how much cargo space do you actually need? It's gigantic. The original spare is still under its... Uh, uh, cover and you want documentation this guy's got it all it's a real 42,000 mile documented vehicle you got the original service manual for the thing you got the um, uh, warranty booklet you got maintenance booklet you got a whole bunch of papers to go with it and here's something really neat oh it does have the original radio also that goes with the uh, purchase of the vehicle that's just pictures of what I just showed you but here it's 42,000 natural miles, and it was owned by Hendrick Motorsports. Uh, it's exceptional survivor, uh, Scottsdale, uh, suburban, just in phenomenal, phenomenal condition. Uh, paperwork, you got it all. It shows you everything, and it is an actual mile vehicle. And from the condition of this, you can see that it's had very, very minimal usage in all it was used for was a people hauler. I can't even tell you that there's ever been anything in the back of it here. Fantastic condition. Look at the door jams, everything on it. Uh, back bumper the same way. And there again, if it were used a lot, you would think there'd be a lot of scrapes or scuffs over the back bumper. There are not. There are none. All the uh, seals and the rubbers and everything are nice and fresh. And they're still original, too. This thing's a very exemplary vehicle. These barn doors are great because that way you don't have to open everything up and if you need to put something in, you open it, put it in and slam the door. Okay, down the uh, passenger side. 
gas fill the door, a single tank, a large capacity tank in it. Uh, again, the, the, the side of this vehicle is the same as the other side. It's just totally exemplary. Tinted glass, there's no marks whatsoever. Uh, there's no chips down along the bottom. Let me check this one. Ah, I can feel a couple of very, very light stone chips there. I can feel them. I cannot see them. So they're, you know, they're so finite that uh, you, you'd certainly never address them in any way. Again, look at the gaps on this guy. Look at this. Totally amazing. Totally amazing. That one will give you a lot of high-resolution photos so that you can study this vehicle in its entirety. But look at the condition of this thing. It's a real, real deal car. Okay, again, our swing away mirror, gap. This, this thing is just original everywhere you look. It's absolutely an exemplary vehicle. It's a 1988 Chevy Suburban People Hauler. Uh, it's a Scottsdale edition, which is the kind of a base edition with the uh, tar paper floor in it and uh, uh, cloth interior, um, tinted glass, power steering, power brakes, air conditioning. Um, if we two-toned it for you, but if you don't like it again, I'd leave it the way it is. It really added a nice dramatic look to it. It looked like a big gold lump the way it was before, just a big old gold brick. Now it has some character to it. It really looks great with this cream type center down through it. Uh, it's a real 42,000 mile, undisrupted, unmodified, unpainted uh, Chevy Suburban. Uh, it's previously owned by Hendrick Motorsports. If you're in the market for a people hauler that, and something also that's capable of towing just about anything you want, it does have the swing away West Coast type mirrors on it that uh, allow you to look back at your trailer, whether it's a car trailer or whatever you're towing. Um, it, it's just a phenomenal vehicle in an exemplary condition. And it's available here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach. And you really should come and take a look at this one and take it for a drive because this thing is. Uh, uh, just as it was new in 1988 with all the original documents. But if you can't come down, that's why Devon's going to compile all these photographs and these videos that we're doing so that you can see this vehicle in its entirety and make a decision on your purchase at Hangsters. Okay, this is the underside of our 1988 Chevy Suburban, a real 42,000 mile southern vehicle. Nothing's been rattle canned or touched in any way. It is original in its entirety. It has the original springs on the front, original shocks are still present. It's only got 42,000 miles on it. Um, you can see that the um, sway bar links and bushings are still nice and fresh. Disc brakes in the front. The uh, uh, plating on the back sides of the uh, dust covers on them are still all original. The exhaust system is original. There's a little bit of muffler tailpipe. We'll show you that in a minute here. Uh, the engine has no uh, leaks whatsoever. A little dampness on here, but not even enough. A little dampness probably from when they were they uh, serviced it and put new filters in it. New oil filter. Uh, paper tab still on the right hand side of the uh, uh, engine, the oil pan. The original lines to the tranny have never been taken out or disrupted in any way. And look how nice the floor is in this thing. The floor is absolutely 100% original and untouched in any way. There's even a little paper tab still inside the frame here uh, from when it was new. It's all yellowed, but it's still there. Catalytic converter with its shield the way they had them back in that day. Uh, transmission, engine, everything is just as leak free as you're ever going to find. There's one little, I don't know, dampness here I'm going to call it because it's not even enough to drip. Same with the tail shaft. There's no drip or leakage whatsoever there. Um, all the lines inside the frame, the, uh, the brake lines on this side, the uh, fuel lines and, and return lines for the fuel system on the uh, passenger side all nice and shiny and clear parking brakes still hooked up and functional um, floor pans look at the floor pans on this thing even out to the uh, rocker panels there's not any deterioration whatsoever still the original um, rust proofing primer the GM stalled back in that era is still present on the vehicle in every spot look everywhere absolutely everywhere the only thing that we can see that has been replaced, of course, battery and the tires, that goes without saying, but it does have a new stainless steel muffler hooked up to the original catalytic converter yet, and a stainless steel tailpipe. 
Um, the original leaf springs in the rear are curved just the way they should be, real nice curvature to them. You can see the overload springs are hanging down yet just the way they should be. This thing's never really had any weight uh, subjected to it through the years, judging from the springs. Big, huge drum brakes in the back to coincide with the discs that we have up front. The original shocks also in the back of this vehicle. Heavy duty 10 bolt rear end in it. Uh, original gas tank never taken down. The uh, drop downs in the quarters and your well where your um, spare tire is housed in the uh, driver's side is just absolutely like new yet. There's no uh, deterioration whatsoever. Passenger side drop down the same way. Everything is still painted with that uh, gray primer that they installed at the factory when the guy was new. Look at this thing underneath. This is uh, the original, unmolested, untouched, unrattle can 1988 Chevy Suburban. And it is 42,000 documented miles owned by Hendrick Motorsports, South Carolina. But now it's here at Hanksters, so you can buy it from us. Look at this. I aim it right. Absolutely, positively, as straight and well defined as you could ever get it. I still haven't touched the steering wheel, I'm still going. I'm going to have to pretty soon though, but Jesus. <clears throat> There's a guy right behind me, so we'll do the brakes whenever we turn in down here. There's no shake, shimmies, rattles, squeaks, absolutely nada. And there's no question that this is a 40,000 mile vehicle, 42. I'm going to give it to you exact, 42,289. That's what it has on the clock, which by the way is working as it should. 85 mile an hour top speed on this, back in that era, that's what they use for uh, speedometers. Just as nice a vehicle as you can possibly hope to find. Rides very nice and smooth and the, the brakes are positive. I'm going to do that here in a second. Okay, here we go. Brakes, no hands. How about that? Give this guy a shot for you here. The 60 mile an hour there, fairly good. Lots of more than adequate power and torque to tug anything that you want down the uh, down the road. Uh, just as smooth shifting, nice and positive as could possibly be. Uh, the, the vehicle just runs and drives like a real 40,000 mile uh, suburban. Uh, everything appears to work on it. We'll go through that for you in a second here. You saw the brake stop, no hands and it just goes down the road absolutely as straight as an arrow. You can't ask a vehicle to do better than that. You just can't. It, uh, it's just an exemplary vehicle. Inside of it, too, uh, most of this headliner material through the age starts to droop and starts to come down. If you look, this one, from what I can see, has absolutely none. I'm just taking a quick look, and I don't see anything where it's hanging. Um, <clears throat> dashboard has no cracks whatsoever in it. Uh, it's a phenomenal vehicle for its age, uh, and uh, you're buying a, absolutely a brand new 1988 uh, Chevy Suburban yeah. uh, with the instrumentation showing you what works and what doesn't. By the way, we do have, I'm going I'm to state it again, we do have the original radio that came out of this car. It's got a um, Mickey Mouse radio in it now, but we do have the original one. Horn works just like it should. Your amp gauge is charging about 13.8, just the way it should. Oil pressure up to about, eh, I want to say about 55 pounds, 50 pounds, something like that. Uh, you saw the speedometer work, and Devin did show you that. Uh, fuel, Jeff gave us between a quarter and a half in fuel. Um, what else we got? Wipers. Wipers are working as they should. Uh, air conditioning. Yep, I heard the compressor kick on. We just came back from our drive and it is blowing icicles. This thing has a great, great air conditioning system in it. Fantastic air conditioning, it does function. Um, Armstrong windows, no power windows in it. Um, I, it's, just a, it's just a brand new uh, 1988. Oh, turn signal, I gotta show you turn signals. Turn signals to the left, working as they should. Turn signal to the right, working as it should. So everything functions as it should in this vehicle, and I'm telling you, this thing is as new uh, an 88 Chevy Suburban as you could ever find on the planet. I can't 
I can't tell you anything in this thing that's a negative. Uh, there's no wear in the uh, seating area. It doesn't appear to have ever been smoked in. Um, there's a trash tray and it's even clean yet. Look. So, you got a brand new Chevy Suburban 1988 and it's here at Hanksters in Daytona Beach.